So, I've never had Ocarina of Time in my childhood. I, I grew up with PlayStation, you see. We had the Crash Bandicoots and the Spyros. Spyro was our Zelda. <laughs> so, because I grew up with PlayStation, I had never touched a Zelda game before. Besides Majora's Mask, because I got on the Wii Virtual Console and I got bored and gave up after 10 minutes. But about a week ago, I got Ocarina of Time on the Wii U Virtual Console, and I beat it in a week. I forced myself to do no walkthroughs because I wanted to get that same feeling all you got when you played it when you were just a little kid. But what do I think of the game? Well, it's kinda... The best game ever. Yeah, 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 I had a fantastic time with this game. This is a masterpiece of a game. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna be one of those people who are like, It's overrated. Look at me. I have a different opinion. I'm so unique. Give me attention. <coughs> Ego Raptor. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Opinions are opinions. It's just his opinions seem more like nitpicks than actual reasons to dislike the game. You don't need a reason to dislike it. There can be games you just don't like without having a reason. But this isn't about no Ego Raptor. This is about my time with Ocarina of Time. I don't know what it is, but everything in this game is addicting. I don't know if it's the sounds it makes when you hit the bosses, I don't know if it's the sounds it makes when you collect the rupees, I don't know if it's the rewards you get for killing all the Skulltulas and collecting the tokens, but all I know is that once I start, I cannot stop playing. Like, remember that big chunk last week where I didn't have any videos? Yeah, that was me powering through Ocarina of Time, because I was having too much fun. Too much fun to make videos! But since I played through it without any walkthroughs, I got that satisfying experience I was looking for. The satisfying feeling of getting past something that you're stuck on for hours, like the water temple! <laughs> I can't count on my hands how many times I facepalmed and go, Oh, that's how you do it. Well, I'm just a darn ding dong dummy now, ain't I? I guess that's what makes this game so great, just the satisfying feeling of getting past something hard and then going, Pfft, Yeah, I did that. Even more impressive is the fact that I went into this game with extremely high expectations because of what others say about it. And yet my expectations were still blown out the window. The amount of creativity and effort put into this game by the developers is outstanding. The mini-games, the bosses, the treasure finding, the item collecting, all of it is so much fun. Getting past a difficult puzzle and finally getting to that treasure chest you've been going after for a while just brings a smile to my face. Unless the thing inside is just five rupees. <laughs> Why does that happen? But yeah, sitting down and playing this game exactly the way you played it when you were little, it opened up my eyes. This really is the greatest game ever. I legitimately don't see any flaws at this game besides the few nitpicks that Ego Raptor pointed out. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time gets a 10 out of 10. Leopold the Brave out.